In this session, we're going to take a look at what is perhaps one of the most significant updates in CorelDRAW X6. CorelDRAW X6 is the first version to support the full character sets of open type fonts. There's also many changes in the way in which Corel handles characters, fonts, and text. And we want to take a look at that in this session. To get started, we're going to go ahead and take a look at a website here. We're going to go take a look at fontsquirrel.com. And here you can download free fonts for commercial use. And as you scroll down the page, you'll notice that there's a number of, of different free fonts available, and they have different styles or types to them. One is a TTF, here is an OTF. Well, TTF is true type font, OTF is open type font. In the last few years, open type fonts have really emerged as the industry standard, and that's because they're cross platform compatible. You can use them on the Microsoft operating systems or on the Apple Macintosh operating systems. And if we want to work with fonts, we want to be able to work with these open type fonts and use their full character sets. Let's go ahead and take a look at a character map here. And here we can see here's a map of all the characters available in this font. And there's some things that are also in here that you're not aware of in the style sets relating to ligatures and other properties and options you have available when you're dealing with fonts, but you don't see this when you're using your keyboard. However, X6 gives you visual access to your options and stylistic sets. Go ahead and go back to X6 here. I'm going to scroll down the page and we'll take a look at some open type fonts. Here I've got the open type font Lobster 1.3. And what I want to do is take a look at some of the options we have with these fonts. And you'll see here that none of this functionality is available in X5, X4, X3, but yet it gives us a very simple way to manage our text and our fonts and the styles and ligatures that we want to work with. I've left clicked with the text tool and held down and you'll notice when I did that I got a blue box around my type here. And what I want to do is come down to the smaller in the bottom and just left click on that. And I'll see that I have some options. I have the original and I have standard ligatures right here. Now if I click on standard ligatures you'll notice that my Y starts to flow directly into my P and some things changed in the flow of my text to make it look like it's all flowing together correctly. And what we have here on the Y and the P is a lig ligature. I'm going to go ahead and click on the shape tool and you can see that here in this font the Y and the P are actually one character so that they flow together correctly. I'll hit control Z and we'll bring that back and I'm going to go back to my text tool and I'm going to go ahead and right click down here again and you notice if I come down here to remove all, the Y will change. But if I go back up, it'll change. See the change in the font there? So with this update, Next 6, we have the ability to very easily access stylistic sets, ligatures, and different properties or styles associated with our fonts and text. Very interactive, very easy to get to. Let's go ahead and take a look at this font here. Here we have another font, which is... This is Megapolis Extra. We'll come down here and click and we'll take a look at this. Highlight the text and click. We've got stylistic set 3 that has a different Y with it than what we have in the original. We've got historical ligatures here also. So we can see that this upgrade in X6 really opens up to us a whole new spectrum of being able to work with text, characters, and fonts very easily and dynamically here because it will update automatically you can see on the screen what these will look like before we select the style that we want to have associated with our text characters and fonts. I'm going to go ahead and click off and release that. I'll come down here and select these numbers and we'll see more of the same even with the numbers. And we can see we've got numerator, fraction, if you've got a fraction you'd want to apply that, etc. for the numbers. Go back to the original and click off. You also notice in X6 a major change in the object properties doctor relating to characters and fonts. Go with my pick tool here and just click on the open type fonts here which is the Megapolis Extra. Over here in the new object properties doctor you can see we've got some new features and functions available to us. We can select our text here. We can come down here and select the font style. We can change the size of our font here. We can also get into range kerning. We can underline here, but now we've got our uniform fill, our background fill type, and our outline width all set up right down here. 
And if I change my uniform fill, I can come here, let's say we'll go to a blue, like that. And if I want to get to some advanced settings or fill settings, I can click here on the three dots, and that'll bring up the uniform fill dialog box. I can also apply a color for a background fill right here, and I can get to some advanced settings for that also. Go ahead and take that off. And here I can set an outline fill and an outline width, and I can get to the advanced settings with the outline pen dialog box here. Go ahead and take that off. Now down here I have some other options. Very easy to access, very streamlined user interface. Click here and I can come down and select all caps. It'll change all of the fonts in my text line here to caps. I'll hit Control Z. I can come down here and access superscript options. I can come down here and access my options for numbers. And down here is some options for stylistic alternates. But we can see we don't get a live preview of those alternates here like we do when we're working with the highlighted text. And anything that's available relating to properties for the fonts or the character set will be highlighted here. It'll be black. If it's not available, it'll just be grayed out. We can come down here and we can give ourselves a strike through or a character overline. And then we can come down here, overprint outline, overprint fill. So we can see that we've got a very dynamic update available for the way in which we handle and work with open type fonts and fonts in general available here in CorelDRAW X6. Go ahead and wrap here and we'll see you in our next session.